This is the Alouette Snow Pro and one of the top drivers in the world, Jules Villeneuve. He won the World Cup last year in Peterborough. He's back this year. He's going after the Kawartha Cup. It's the greatest snowmobile classic in North America. 80,000 people, over 1,400 entries. They're going for over $30,000 in prize money. But the man everybody is talking about, Jill Villeneuve, has brought his LOX Snow Pro. It's a machine of the future here to Peterborough. Now let's go to the action. <laughs> This was the beginning of Canada's biggest snowmobile extravaganza, the Molson Kawartha Cup. Peterborough, Ontario, a city of 55,000. Yet in early January, the population doubles as the Kawartha Tourist Association started it all off with this gigantic parade. Nowhere in North America does a snowmobile race attract more people. And look at these fellas turn on with you. Throwing up quite a spray there now. 440 cc and really motor. Harry, oh, 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 look at that, a complete cross side and kept it under control. What stability, ladies and gentlemen, with a twin track, I've never seen anything like it. It's still a new and number 13 and still hanging on to that lead. Shabisky moved up now, hanging on to second spot and Thompson running third. Boy, I've never seen driving like this before. Down they come again, and it looks like, yes, it's the last lap flag, and it's Gilles Villeneuve, number 13, out in front. Shabinsky on his Yamaha running in second spot, and it looks like, can't quite see as they come down there with the snow, but anyway, we'll catch them as they come around. They're on the last lap now, and it's still Villeneuve into that number three turn, and Villeneuve coming around there. Now look at him turn on, will you? Bill Villeneuve, the new modernized Alouette, and there he is, your winner, Jill Villeneuve, and not too far behind, number 30, Ed Shabitsky in a Yamaha, and number 22, David Thompson on an Arctic Cat. Jill, you've designed this machine yourself, and it's sort of the futuristic look, I think, of snowmobile racing. Where did you get the idea? Boy, oh, I, I had the idea when uh, the uh, people came from of our factory came from the first meeting, uh, USSA meeting about the snow pro. And he came at, he, he said to me what, what uh, were, will be the rule for the coming season for the snow pro. And they were saying like 10 feet long, 45 inch wide and all that stuff. And suddenly he said 15 inch max, uh, minimum track width, uh, either two track or one track. And when they said two track, that uh, put a uh, light in my head, you know. And I, w I started thinking about it, and in the coming two weeks, I started draw drawing a draft sketches on that. After that, I proposed that to the president of our company and the R&D uh, department to see if the thing was possible or not, and they agreed with it. And after that, we had the, a budget to uh, make the first one and see if it would be would work or not. Jills, what, what this design now? What does it mean in speed? Like, can, can you go faster with it? Yeah. It's not really that much faster. Uh, meaning of uh, only for the straightaway, it's faster in cornering uh, because if you corner 20 percent faster, so it means that you get out of the corner faster than the other guy also. So even if uh, if the other guy have let's see more horsepower, he cannot catch you because you're getting out of the corner 10 miles or 15 miles an hour faster than that. This is it, our final race from this year's Molson Kawartha Cup, the 650 Snow Pro Final. These are the most powerful machines the factory can build. This track cannot hold their speed, which are over 110 miles an hour.